uh, terrorists may want to strike. And Al-Qaeda's new leader, Ayman al-Zawari, even back in 2003, he singled out Norway as a country they may want to attack. Controversial images of the... This was a huge bomb, and, and the scenes that we're seeing uh, play out in Norway were... Um, it's very hard to get through to the police right now. I... This is a, a terrorist uh, attack. This is turning into a very significant event in the Norwegian capital. We are hearing reports of a second explosion in Oslo. These pictures, which I think uh, have in some cases come via uh, Twitter, which were clearly taken so soon after the blast, um, gives you an immediate sense of the scale of it. Um, and the element of confusion, which would almost, always creep in straight after a blast has gone off, as people are not at that point cordoned off because it is, you know, it's before the authorities arrive at the scene. There will be a lot of plate glass and a lot of high buildings, and therefore they're vulnerable to that sort of damage. But if you look there on the street, it, it clearly is a scene of some devastation. What are your dreams and aspirations? Uh, I'm not sure. I like football. That's. Are you, do you play football or? Yeah. Okay. So other than that, you can't really think of anything. No, I'm not sure yet. Uh, living, most of all. <laughs> But we're showing you videotape material yeah, that's confidential, so. Not necessarily need to get out. This is very unusual, you have to admit that much. Then a what? Okay, so we started work on a movie on the 27th of May. By the May. way, I, I don't give you permission to film me. I don't like my face being anyway. Okay, I understand you're an investigator. Okay, uh, his supervisor. You said that you've already been in contact with the people who did the special effects on, on the Titanic and that they've agreed to work with you. this gets out, it's going to kill tourism. Mark Bale's yeah. crew has made... I don't, made, want, I don't want to speak to you. Mark Bale's, Mark Bale's crew has made several inappropriate comments about our film production company here in Norway, and they've made several yeah, comments that are... Problem. It's bad publicity for us. We want something yeah, done about it. If it is your problem, you're going to be part of it, okay? I Let's have go. not said anything. Uh, is Maxine available? Make promise. The, the staff on this film is plastering around crap about my movie Excuse company. Me. I was involved with the bank robbery scene at DMV North and Excuse the me. film crew. some way have 
come in touch with your uh, movie company. I don't give a fuck about what I'm saying to you because you have no. Okay, great. What's his badge number? Maybe he should know his daughter's threatening to kill people. Do you know how many people are here? Yeah, okay, tell me. Do you know how many witnesses there are here in this room listening to your murder threats? I don't know what happened to the Andrew family, but the tape is real. The tape is real. This tape's real. And I will testify. Good to see you again. You, too. you played an excellent terrorist in our movie. Thank you. You scared the entire bird Yeah, I did. That means something? You know? Did you talk to the police? Can I ask your name? Do not film me. Okay, if you're asking for my identification, I just want to yeah, have a clip of it. Okay. I want that. Do you have that on you? Uh, of course. Yeah, can I speak? Okay, but uh, did I do something wrong? Yes, okay. I have to have your name because if you don't... Do not film Okay, Take it off. I'll film him. Do you remember what Michael Moore did to the president? With a documentary. He destroyed his entire reputation Okay. We are shooting a scene today where you see an unidentified flying object above the boat. But it won't go away. Sin never does. There's only one thing you can do. You know what must be done. You're going to burn. I don't think I dare to do that. En amerikaner ville lage actionfilm. Dramatisk i Bergen centrum. Politiet har fått melding om bankran. Store politistyrker med maskinpistoler rykker ut. Et stort område rundt DNB Nord sin bankfilial på Vågsalmenningen blir sperret av. Folk blir bedt om å halde seg på avstand. Inni banken er det blitt observert personer med finlandsette og våpen. Men det var ikke et ekte bankran. Midt under innspillingen så får vi, ser vi laserkuler inn i banken. Hvor hele greiene blir avviklet på grunn av politiet. Du blir sjokkert når du er midt under innspilling for modeller. Og så plutselig kommer politiet inn og ligger hånd i hånd på og det er full kjør. Det er bare en pretend scene. Det er fiktion. Det er ikke en real bank robbery. Vi gjør en film. They're all fake, they're all BB guns, none of them are real. Men for politiet var det ekte. Store politistyrker rykket i ettermiddag ut til det de trodde var et bankran i Bergen sentrum. Med skarpladde våpen rykket de frem mot banken, der det pågikk en filminnspilling. Stay down on the floor, face down. Do you want to die? We will kill everyone in this bank if we have to. Everyone, stay down on the floor, face down. If we film this in New York, this would never happen. You would never no. have a SWAT team swarm in. Uh, I worked with Steven Spielberg. I've been involved with Warner Brothers, Columbia Pictures. I worked on Spider-Man 3. I have a massive film background. How are they going to possibly verify this? Uh, what he said was, you can do anything you want in terms of verified. Any type of due diligence, he will uh, answer whatever questions put forward. Uh, we could do whatever type of checking. We could bring in experts. We could have the tape tested. We could. Uh, in fact, he encouraged all of these uh, uh, aspects. Yeah, you, um... We actually just need to speak to this person? Yes, yeah. okay, he's yeah. the leader of the department. Exactly. I don't know if he's in there now. Okay. Um, but, uh, who, who's told you that you have to speak to him? Okay. Det var en stille og rolig Bergens greinversetter med dag, men så skjer alt på en gang. Ransalarmen går. To filmprodusenter er ilagt en bot på 50 000 kroner, mens DNB Nord er bøtelagt med 30 000 kroner. Flere vittner hadde sett personer med finlandshetter og våpen inne i bygningen, og politiet rykket rutinemessig ut med store styrker. Vi skjøter en film her. Det er en supernatural thriller. Det er en veldig bra film. Det er om disse fire mennesker med spesielle kvinner. Vi skjøter det alle i Bergen. 
Uh, you look like you might work for a small part in the film. It's actually an elevator scene. Excuse me. We would like to audition to the uh, movie Visitor. Bergen. Gradvis ut over dagen så begynner det å skje til fra sør og da i områdene sør for Bergen. We want everyone to be really emotional. Do you think you can be forgiven? Hello, I'm Dan Devera from DXD Models. We will never work with Angel Water anymore. After the nuclear fire, it was determined that this was one of the safest locations in the world. This being one of the few nations in the world not harboring any nuclear weapons or devices. The fallout from the nuclear blast killed all plant life, animal life, everything. 